Hi, Simon Dixon here, CEO and founder of banktothefuture.com. I'm reporting from the Institute for Social Banking, and I'm now here with Jen Morgan, who's from WWF UK, and also a co-founder of the Finance Innovation Lab. Um, she's just given a great presentation on some of the work she's actually been doing at the Finance Innovation Lab. So tell me, why does uh, the finance uh, need innovating and labbing? Mm, very good question. Um, I think it's coming from an organisation, uh, WWF, as we do, as I am. Um, we very much see the science that's coming through, the need uh, to really address the ecological crisis and the social crisis. So um, why we have really invested a lot of time and energy in the finance lab yeah. and creating the finance innovation lab is we believe that the change this is required is the transformational change that's required to address our, our ecological challenges are so great that we as one organization can no longer work alone. We have to work with others, we have to work in a way that uh, really brings in the diversity of the financial system okay. in order to stimulate solutions for uh, people and planet. So wh where does your interest come in finance? How did you get involved? Um, me personally, yeah. um, I think I believe that you know finance is an amazing driver for change. Mm -hmm. It either uh, mm -hmm. enables change, or it has a positive impact on the planet, or and people, or it can also have an inhibiting and negative impact on um, people and planet. And it really, really drives and shapes our social systems. So my personal view and our organisational view is if we can work with finance as a driver for change, yeah. then ultimately we will shift our social governance and societal systems that will then hopefully support yeah. people and planet in a more pos positive way. It's, it's really refreshing to hear that because um, many people are on, on you know, campaigns and mm -hmm. missions um, without actually realising that a lot of what we need to look at is mm -hmm. the financial side, mm -hmm. which uh, has a lot of knock-on effects on mm -hmm. all the things that they're campaigning. So sure. it's really great to see you. Uh, doing that as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So I think, I think finance is also a bit of a means for an end to us. So um, what we're doing is experimenting with different, um, different ideas and different solutions that might just positively disrupt the system as we know it. Uh, so what kind of new business models could we come up with? How might we help to educate people on the impact of their money? Mm -hmm. What new products and services are needed? Uh, but what's really important is not just these new experiments, but we need, through the lab, to really help people uh, engage in the world in a different way. So the process of how we're bringing people together is almost more important than the content that comes out. Right. So the process is very much about um, welcoming diversity. We need everybody to work together and respect yeah. diversity. It's about creating um, a space for innovation and looking at the creative ways we can bring new change in the world. Uh, it's very much about looking at things from a systemic point of view and understanding the complexity of how change happens. And it's also really uh, driven from a sense of values. How, how can we really inspire uh, people to operate, uh, not just in their personal life, but in a professional life, whether they be bankers, lawyers, or mm. activists, from a place of purpose that is, is driven by values. So they care for a community, care for themselves, and, and their other fellow mm -hmm. living, living uh, uh, fellow beings and other living beings. So it's about the purpose, the creativity, um, learning and the diversity, that's really important how we convene the process of the lab to create the solutions that will then be more transformational. Okay, so, so tell me, what, what type of people have you got? Have you got, um, in, have you got investment bankers, people in the finance industry, uh, people that are looking to set up new businesses? Mm -hmm. Is it a think tank for mm -hmm. academics? Mm -hmm. what, what, what have you got here? So the, the device diversity is there. I think yeah. what we're seeing, uh, the lab's been, been going for about two years now. And what we're seeing is that those people that are more open for change tend to be, and those that are part of the lab community at the moment, tend to be more on the, the pioneering edge. So okay. at the moment, the community exists of a lot of entrepreneurs. Mm. Uh, there are academics in that, in that mix, um, people that are experimenting with new business models, civil society groups. Um, and, and what we're starting to see is more, um, more people from the mainstream coming more as individuals rather than right, representatives okay. of the mainstream organization. What so you're talking about part? investment bankers? Yeah, so we do have a few investment mm -hmm. bankers who are really awakening up to the fact that they, they see these ecolo you know, the ec ecological constraints, the need to operate in, in the world in a different way. They see the business case as well. Mm. So they as individuals are coming 
to the lab community to learn, to connect, to build relationships. So tell me, what, what actually happens when you put an anti-capitalist activist in the same room as an investment banker and an entrepreneur? What oh, yeah. happens? No, it's, it's really interesting. It's a good question. Um, so there's a lot of, um, I think, mistrust at first. So mm -hmm. we try to do a lot to encourage people to feel safe. Um, we um, really create the space for them to feel uh, like they, uh, they understand each other. So a lot of it is about understanding where people come from, telling personal stories, we really help people to connect with each other. So, um, and yeah, it is tough. A lot of, some people don't come back. They find it uncomfortable. They find it tense. Um, there's a lot of, yeah, a lot of debating that goes on. Um, but what, what we are finding is that there is interest and curiosity uh, for diversity to come mm -hmm. together. But yeah, okay. it's in holding that and holding that tension and holding that diversity. It is it is really challenge, <laughs> challenging. So when you put all these people in one room, what, what kind of innovation has come out of the finance innovation lab? Um, well, what happens is people have idea come to the lab in the community who have ideas already. So mm -hmm. they might have a you know, brand new idea or a business model they've been developing for the last couple of years. So um, one woman in the community, she has a new sharing platform. So instead of needing money, uh, which creates debt, which creates mm -hmm. interest, which is this you know, unsustainable cycle, how could we really create a new system and a new model that helps us to share things rather than to need money in the first place? Yeah. So what happens is she'll come in with her idea and she'll invite other people in to say, well, I need um, so, so and such resources. I need to think about my business plan in a different way. And that diverse community will then contribute to her and to help right. her build her idea. So yeah. that investment banker will help her shape her idea or that artist will help her think about how she might communicate and really scale up this model. So people are actually starting with ideas and coming out with business plans. That's, what's, that's what we feel um, we can contribute as yeah. a, the Finance Innovation Lab is to really help um, illuminate um, ideas, um, help people host conversations, uh, to connect people, um, to, to connect this diverse community mm -hmm. together, uh, and to really help those people, those organizations or movements to really scale up. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, it really sounds like interesting stuff's actually coming out. Um, can you discuss more of the, the types of things that people are discussing? I know in the presentation mm -hmm. you discussed things like there was uh, new ways of lending, alternative mm -hmm. finance mm -hmm. models, competing currencies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What other things are you seeing? Um, a whole, whole spectrum of things, a lot yeah. of things that you mentioned, um, things, and I, I guess what we're trying to do is to hold a spectrum, mm -hmm. realizing that we need to work with the existing system and stimulate uh, ideas and solutions around that. So one of the activities is looking at um, new models of risk. So how do we move from a system that's um, traditionally risk-based, looking at historical information, that, to the one that's more resilient. Mm -hmm. So that activity is looking at the BP Gulf of, Oil, Gulf of Mexico oil yeah, spill okay. as mm -hmm. an example, and looking at the case study it, as a case study of the questions that we should have been asking ourselves and applying that to the financial system. So that's an example of more of a mainstream um, interaction with, with solutions that could help the system become more sustainable and resilient. Um, another one is, is looking at values. So really this is a question, it's not just an ecological crisis, but mm. the financial system is, um, is supported by a set of values that just aren't serving society or the planet. So one of the innovation activities is actually bringing people, senior, senior people and influential people, over, over the time period of a year for four dinners to really, um, again, create the safe space for them to personally talk about their conflicts that they have yeah. in the investment bank, in this mismatch between their values and what actually goes on in the bank. Mm. So that's another area of activity which is not as tangible as, a, as creating a new business model, which some of the groups are looking at, but it is something that we really believe and that they believe is important for this whole cultural shift to take mm. place. The one thing I really get from you mm -hmm. is that a lot of this is not just about people sitting in a room debating. Um, while that's a part of it, mm -hmm. it really for you is about getting some tangible, actionable results yeah. out there. Yes. Um, what's the mission? What's your goal? Um, I think the, yeah, it's a good question. The, the ultimate goal, mm. I think we realize, I mean, this is intended to be a five year program, but realizing that it needs, you know, the challenges are so great, it's probably going to be in our next, in our lifetime that we, we hope to see changes. Yeah. Um, the ultimate goal um, is to help a culture shift.
-hmm. So to really help people in this financial lab community and everyone that comes to it to work in what we call um, in a, a collaborative leadership way. So working in a way that looks at the system, looks at complexity, um, looks at learning and creativity, uh, and really, really builds people's skills and their leadership skills to work together in collaboration because the challenges we face are so complex and so great that that, that is the ultimate goal to create new cultures that yeah. will then shift the financial system. I'm always interested in the people actually behind um, innovation mm -hmm. and behind things. So why don't you tell us a little bit about how you actually got involved in this? What was your motivation behind it and what you hope to achieve out of this? Okay, good question. Yeah. Um, so my own motivation, I'm very much, I grew up in a very natural place in the States yeah. from a state called New Hampshire. So my own personal purpose is, um, is to help to create spaces and bring people together so that um, life on the planet, as we know it, it thrives in harmony mm. with nature. Um, and working for WWF, that seeing the science every day, that really drives me to know that, you know, that is at risk. And I want to make a personal contribution every day to help um, help tackle that. But I believe as a person that um, we need to, yeah, to really appreciate each other, to work together in collaboration, that we need diversity. I think this, this is where um, we help to, I helped to start the program mm. uh, about three years ago, just realizing that. Was it born out of the crisis or? No, it was before the crisis actually. Right, okay. Yeah, so I think at WDF, um, you know, we do work bilaterally with partners and I think my experience in that showed me that finance is a really big driver, but a lot of the, the actors and companies we're working with, no matter how well intended they are, mm. they're still stuck within the system, stuck by shareholders, stuck by consumers, stuck by uh, the laws that govern them. So that just didn't match up with the change that's required. So I really, this was really bothering me about three or four years ago and just felt like I needed to do something about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I feel really fortunate to work in an organization that has allowed me and my colleagues to team up with others like the Institute for Chartered Accountants yeah. and our partners with Hara Collaborative Practice to really experiment. We're doing a great big experiment here and mm. testing things out and inviting other people to test things out. So yeah, it's very much, I'm really privileged to be in the place I am in just to um, yeah, really enjoy what I do and I feel like I'm living my personal purpose mm. in life. Okay, well just, yeah, final thought uh, yeah. for the interview. Yeah. Somebody's got an idea, somebody's got something they're really passionate about in finance, um, somebody's got something they think is completely unjust that mm -hmm. they'd like to offer some kind of alternative solution. Mm -hmm. What's the next step for them? So we'd love to hear from them. Yeah. So really eager to support people that have a vision, that have a, bit of a plan, that want to connect to others, that want to collaborate. So it's as simple and as informal as coming to one of us and the core team. So uh, the best way to do that is to go to the Finance Innovation online community, mm -hmm. and that can be found at www.thefinancelab.ning.com. Okay. And there people can find information about the different things that are going on and contact information to uh, have a conversation with yeah. uh, one of us to help scale their idea and their uh, ambition up. Okay, well, if you've got an idea, I really want to encourage you to, to get out there, put it out to the community, get involved in things like the Finance Innovation Lab. And uh, I thank you for your work and your time. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much.